yeah, you know, what's wrong with a little dramatic entrance every now and then? Spice things up. What are you doing? Yeah, so what we're doing today is we're making an anime ninja knife blade dagger thingy out of wood. Ah. So what he's going to be doing is making a kunai, or a dagger commonly used by ninjas in either anime or manga. But this time, one thing that we're doing different is we're going to add something pretty special later on that you've probably seen in the thumbnail already. You know what? Just watch the build, because it's pretty hype. Exactly. So anyways, let's get into it. The real question is the word orange named for the fruit? Or is the word simply meant for the color that the fruit takes the appearance of? In that case, is the orange the describing word or the subject being described? What is the real meaning behind the word orange? What is the real meaning behind...
yeah, so quick break from all the carving and the build stuff for a second. I actually found some footage from a vlog that I thought I lost, but apparently I didn't. So you know what? Here's a mini vlog of me going to Florida, because why not? <laughs> Cool. So the knife is basically finished and you know on its own, yeah, it's cool, but I mean, it's kind of boring. So what I intended on doing in the first place was basically carving out like a logo or like a symbol or something and then putting epoxy resin in there, you know, to make it clear and look cool. But I was scrolling on Amazon and I found these lollipops that have real scorpions inside of them. Uh, I'm not too sure if they're dead. And what I think we're now gonna do is we're gonna just, you know, carve out the inside of this knife and then put some epoxy resin in there and then you know put a, a real scorpion inside the knife because because why not you know hopefully the scorpion's dead i'm not too sure but you know we'll find out soon so you know for now i'm going to get started on cutting out the inside of this knife so let's go do that
12 seconds later. Okay, so the package arrived, and in the meantime, I made an enclosure for the knife, and I also just put down a base layer of resin. So yeah, this is what they look like. So uh, there's really only one way to get them out, which is um, you slap them in a bowl of hot water and wait for them to dissolve. Then I put another coat of resin over this one so that everything was sealed in properly and I had a little bit of slack to sand down later on. Then after that I put a light coat of olive oil on it just to stain the wood a little bit. Then I just hit the epoxy part of the knife with a coat of lacquer cause why not? Anyways with that all finished, here is the final reveal. So yeah, there are a few air bubbles left that were inside the bug that are just impossible to remove, but that kind of thing's inescapable. Anyways, it's not perfect, and there are a few scratches in the epoxy that I would have liked to remove, but you know, we learn and we move. At the end of the day, I learned a lot more about power carving and epoxy resin than I thought I would, and you know, the final piece didn't turn out all that bad, so you know, it's a win. So thanks guys for sticking around. Anyways, I got a few more video ideas, but you know, uh, make sure to leave more down below because I am definitely running out. If you didn't know, this video was partially recommended to me by Joaquin Productions during the live stream last month. I do read all the comments, so you know, to see your guys' suggestions is really cool. Anyways guys, uh, thanks a lot. I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good day and peace.